Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you're passionate about skincare and seek products that are effective and affordable, then this is the channel for you. So please do make sure you subscribe down below and join our little skincare family and also please do give this video a massive thumbs up because it really does help me out. And so without further ado, let's get on to today's video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the infamous exfoliating acid, salicylic acid, how it works, the secrets behind the BHA and also the best affordable products suited for your skin. But first of all, what is a BHA and where does it fit in the exfoliating acid family? So salicylic acid is part of the BHA family, also known as beta hydroxy acid. And when you're looking at exfoliating acid, they're usually three main groups. So you've got your AHA, your BHA, and also your P. <laughs> in a roundabout way, all of these acids have the same end goal, is to exfoliate and like slough off the dead skin cells and the gram to reveal a more healthy and radiant looking skin. However, these acids work in different ways. Your AHAs, also known as alpha hydroxy acid, have a larger family circle and have different molecular weights. So for instance, you have glycolic acid, which has the smallest molecular weight, so it's more potent because it's enabled to sort of travel deeper into the skin and sort of um, rapidly rapidly exfoliate the skin, whereas your, say for instance, your malic acid has a larger molecular weight, so it sort of just sort of basically sits um, on top, on the top layers of the skin and slowly exfoliates the skin. And your AHAs are water soluble, so they only sort of work on the surface of the skin, whereas your BHAs, your beta hydroxy acids, um, not only work on the surface of the skin, but also inside your pores. And this is where BHAs work absolute wonders for skin that has like enlarged pores, textured skin, oily to combination skin, acne prone skin, and even sensitive skin as well. And then we have PHAs, which are polyhydroxy acids. And these are sort of referred to as the next generation AHAs and can be found under names of sort of like gluconoloctane and also lactobionic acid. And PHAs are best suited for sensitive skin types, especially skin with eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, KP or rosacea. This is because PHAs have a larger molecular weight, so they're less irritating on the skin and they just slowly and gradually remove all of the dead skin cells and the dirt and the gram from the skin. So now we understand the basics of the exfoliating acid groups and the benefits for the skin. Let's go into more detail about salicylic acid because it really does deserve all of the hype. Salicylic acid can not only slough away the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin, but it's oil soluble, meaning it can travel through the oily pores and really sort of help to clear and unclog the dead skin cells and the excess oil and grime that are trapped inside of your pores. This leads on to eliminating the potential of blackheads and whiteheads forming and our pores looking less visible, which is an absolute godsend for us acne, oily, and combination skin types. Especially for us with a mind field of a T-zone. <laughs> Not only is it able to tame your acne prone skin and your breakouts and your blemishes, but it's absolutely fantastic for sensitive skin users. Winner! And yes, you can combine BHA products with AHA products, and AHA products with BHA products. <laughs> However, just remember to be sensible in the levels of concentration of the exfoliating acid you are using to ensure you're not over exfoliating your skin. And also make sure that you know how tolerable your skin is before combining any exfoliating acids or even using any exfoliating acids. So salicylic acid is scientifically referred to as a monohydroxybenzoic acid and was first derived from the bark of the willow tree. Yes, and now you might be thinking Again, I've heard of willow bark extract in skincare products before. However, willow bark and salicylic acid are not the same, and willow bark is not a true substitute for salicylic acid. And yes, willow bark does have some fantastic anti inflammatory properties for the skin. But for in order to act like salicylic acid, it needs to be chemically converted. So always bear that in mind when a clean, green, natural cosmetics company markets willow bark extract as sort of like your natural salicylic acid replacement, but it isn't. Willow bark, yes, has anti-inflammatory properties like salicylic acid does, but willow bark extract won't clean out and declog your pores. Sorry, it just won't. <laughs> However, the benefits of salicylic acid go far beyond just clearing out your pores. It is also used in the production of aspirin. I know, mind 
blown. <laughs> How this happens is that the salicylic acid reacts to a chemical compound called acetate anhyde, and this reaction leads on to acetyl salicylic acid, also known as aspirin. How amazing is that? It just really reminds me of when we spoke about tranexamic acid at the beginning of the year and how we use tranexamic acid in skincare products for hyperpigmentation, whereas medically it's used to clot blood. And it's just, I honestly, science and technology just blow my mind. It's fantastic. And not only that, salicylic acid helps in reducing acne and psoriasis flare-ups. It helps in the treatment of ringworm and wart infections. And it is also a fantastic anti-dandruff treatment for the scalp. Even more amazing, right? <laughs> so now let's move on to some fantastic and affordable skincare products that contain salicylic acid. And we have cleansers, we have treatments, we have serums, we have masks. We have moisturizers and we even have a scalp treatment. And so obviously I'm going to only discuss the products that I have used or that are in my current skincare collection that contain salicylic acid. So first of all we have cleansers and we have the CeraVe SA Smoothing or Renewing Cleanser. This is fantastic. I'm still unsure to what concentration of salicylic acid is in here um, but I'm guessing it's just above 1% because it is after phenoxyethanol so hopefully it's above 1% but it's so incredibly gentle suited for dry rough and bumpy skin I have combination skin but this is still absolutely fantastic all skin types can use this and will really benefit from it you can use it twice a day but I only use it once a day sort of if I'm currently using it and I'm not it doesn't sort of like disrupt any of my other skincare products or treatments or anything like that. And then we have the Cosorex Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser, which you can use once or twice a day. Totally up to you. It does have 0.5% salicylic acid in here. I do actually find this quite stripping though, so just bear that in mind. I also have another cleanser which isn't actually marketed as a salicylic acid cleanser, but it's the Body Shop Drops of Youth Youth Gentle Foaming Wash, and this has salicylic acid in here. So usually you will find salicylic salicylic acid in products that aren't actually specifically marketed to be salicylic acid products, if you get me. <laughs> there is also the Inkilis Salicylic Acid 2% Cleanser, which honestly is absolutely fantastic. It has a really high concentration of salicylic acid, the 2%, but it's extremely gentle. You can use it twice a day. It's non-stripping and it's really incredibly hydrating and nourishing to the skin. I, however, misplaced it when I was on holiday, so unfortunately, I don't have it with me, but you guys know that I have had it in the past and it is fantastic. And then next I have a mask, which is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. And this is absolutely fantastic for your acne and your blemish prone and your congested skin types as well. It's sort of like you can use it twice a week, no more than twice a week, because it is, you know, quite a potent mask. But it's really, really fantastic and it's just sort of that added treatment to include into your skincare routine. And then we have a peeling solution and this is the infamous the Ordinaries AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. So this obviously has a combination of AHAs in there and also BHAs in there, but it's really fantastic at sort of slamming off the dead skin cells and then it goes into penetrating the oil and sort of unclogging the pores and yeah, it is honestly fantastic. I have done a separate video on this and why it scares me because the hype is real on this. But yeah, you have your BHA salicylic acid in there. You have a Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. Again, this has been reformulated since, you know, I purchased this product, but it still contains salicylic acid in there, and I really do like this product. We have um, Tandem's Easy Exfoliator, which has a combination of your AHAs and also your BHAs in there. We then also have the infamous Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. This is like, oh, <laughs> this is like the mini version. Um, I know, obviously, the, the normal size can be quite expensive however this works this honestly it is a cult favorite for a reason and it really really does work so I would personally you know spend my money on the larger size and we also have a spot treatment so we've got the Sun by Me Super Miracle AHA BHA PHA 14 day Super Miracle Spot All Kill Creep oh my god such a mouthful but this yeah obviously combines the AHAs the BHAs and the PHAs so really fantastic at just like dabbing on those spots 
and then they're just gone. And so now moving on to some serums that contain salicylic acid. So just like the Body Shop Drops of You Foaming Wash, we have the Drops of You Concentrate, which is packed full of antioxidants. It does have fragrances in there, so please do bear that in mind. But yes, again, it's one of those products that has salicylic acid, but yet it isn't marketed as a salicylic acid treatment. We then have the Versed Just Breathe Clarifying Serum, which has a combination of willow bark extract and also salicylic acid in here. It does have more um, concentration of willow bark extract in here, so it's sort of more of a soothing, um, you know, soothing benefits for the skin. And then we also have the Revolution Salicylic Acid 2% Serum. Don't come for me because it's Revolution, <laughs> but obviously you guys know that the ordinary salicylic acid is being reformulated currently, so you know you kind of just have to go with the next best thing really but it is you know it's a really good formula so yeah revolution really good price as well so that is like obviously your targeted serum and then you have the marine hyaluronics by the ordinary as well which has salicylic acid in there again another product which isn't specifically marketed as a salicylic acid product and now moving on to a moisturizer slash cream we have the CeraVe SA smoothing cream or SA renewing cream depending on where you are and obviously you do have the lotion as well this can come in a tub it can come in a tube and it can come in a lotion bottle like that and then finally we have the Inculus salicylic acid exfoliating scalp treatment it's really going to do a fantastic job at breaking down the excess oil and removing the dead skin cells and like all the skin build up on the scalp it does contain a two percent salicylic acid concentration as well and so that's all for this video on the secrets of salicylic acid i hope it's been informative in sort of making you sort of understand a bit more about salicylic acid the uses of it and how to sort of like look for it in skincare products it's it is all around us and it is a fantastic fantastic skincare ingredient and it's suited for so many skin types so i really do hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time for a brand new video see you later guys bye bye